Hey, this is Ed Ferrari from Foundry, and in this quick video, I'm going to demonstrate how to save image maps and reload image maps once they've been edited in an external software such as Photoshop. So I have this mesh here, and it's a pretty basic geometry. It's just a deformed capsule that's been elongated, and it flares towards the top, and it tapers towards the bottom to give us this cartoon head sort of shape. And now in the shader tree, I have a material group named head, and within that I have a material. And if I come over to the lists tab, uh, in the UV map section, I have this texture. So the textures are, I mean, the UV map is pretty basic. We've just unwrapped uh, the simple shape. So now I'm going to create uh, an image map within this material group. So I'll come over to the texture menu, and I'll choose add blank color texture and I'm going to change the type from Targa to PNG and then I'll just name this Monster and I'll click Save. We're just going to work with a 2K map so the resolution at 2048 by 2048 is perfect RGBA is fine for the format everything at default is just fine. So here is our Monster image map. By double clicking on it we can see it in the uh, its own window and you can see that there's nothing in there. So with the Monster image map selected, I'm going to make sure that I'm in the paint layout with symmetry on, and then in the paint tools side tab I'll click on the paintbrush, I'll choose a hard uh, tip, and then in the paintbrush tool properties I have the foreground color set to this raspberry color. So now I can just start painting. Now sometimes the first stroke takes a while to register, but then the subsequent strokes are buttery smooth. So I'm not trying to do anything perfect here, I just want to give this guy some eyes, maybe a nose, I'll just make like kind of a skeleton type of character. I'll give him a mouth, and then we'll just give him some teeth. And we're not trying to do anything fantastic here, so that will do it for this. Now I'm going to save my scene, so I'll come up to File, Save, and this is important. By saving the scene, you don't necessarily save the image, so you have to come up to File, Save Image also. And if you have multiple images, you can say Save All Images. So now in Photoshop, I'm going to open that monster image. So here it is. So I'll zoom in, and I'm going to start painting. First I'll just uh, erase uh, some of the areas that I don't want. So I'll just make the nose a little bit sharper. And then I'll press B for the brush tool, and I'm going to give him some pupils. So I'll just paint in some black pupils change this to white and I'll just give him some highlight on his eyes and then I'll use the paint bucket to fill in his teeth and we're again not trying to do anything really incredible here I'll just choose uh, kind of a pinkish color, we'll give him some cheeks and then these cheeks are going to need a highlight as well so I'll choose white and just give this a little bit of whiteness and then E for eraser and I'll just make the nose a little bit sharper like so and then maybe we'll give him a little bit of a goatee and maybe uh, some eyebrows just for the heck of it <laughs> there we go so I'll save this file save and then back in Modo uh, we get this alert which is really nice. I can just click reload image and that will do the trick. Uh, alternatively, if you don't see this, you can always come over to the shader tree and on your image map you can right click and choose reload image. It will ask us if we're sure and I'll say yes. And then here we have our updated image. And what's nice about this is I can just start to model right on top of this. So I hope this was helpful. Uh, Stay tuned to Moto Geeks TV for more videos.